right? 11 for 31 with eight walks. But those walks are going to decrease with uh, Shohei Otani. They're not walking Trout nearly as much. Big difference. No intentional walks since Otani has been in the uh, in the lineup. And Skaggs did, uh, gave up four runs, three earned. He's allowed 14 earned runs in 16 and two-thirds in his last three starts. Minnesota, look what they've done. They rank. Here's where they rank. <laughs> they rank first and second in everything, offensively. First and second in everything. Edwin Encarnacion made himself a pest. He had a 2-2 pitch off of Trevor May. Uh, he went 9 for 5, 15 in the series. 25 home runs against the Twins. So keep in mind, Brett Gardner, who I predicted would be a star yesterday in DFS, he was 5 for 10 against the uh, against uh, whoever was pitching for uh, Tampa. Aaron Hicks hit a home run. DJ LeMahieu also connected. Kiermaier and Willie Adamas homered on consecutive pitches. How about that? The opener didn't go well for the Yankees, all right? So the Yankees started an opener, not the Rays. <laughs> How about that one? And it didn't go well. Green allowed five of the nine he faced to reach base. Two homers and uh, very bad. But the Yankees are in first place now, and that's all that counts. Oakland, of course, l- l- looking for their 16th straight win over Detroit. They'll have to wait three and a half months to find out if they got it. And, of course, in Seattle, when you score 18 runs, 19 hits, and six home runs, all in your third consecutive loss, uh, it's not looking good. Kikuchi pitched good. Yeah, pitched good. He allowed five hits, one earned run. Keep in mind, it may be his next start that he becomes the opener again as they're trying to save innings on him. So be careful. The same thing is going to go with Paddock. The same thing is going to go with, uh, uh, what's his name, the Yankee pitcher, uh, German. They want to keep their innings down. Same thing is going to go with Soratka. They're going to keep their innings down. They're going to pitch as openers. I'm telling you, betray these guys now. Vladimir Guerrero, there you go. What can we tell you? He had all his four homers in his past six games. He's now seven for 21, nine RBIs. Uh, look, he didn't hit a homer uh, in his first 13 games after making his debut. So, But what, what, what could you do? All right? Life on the road. And finally, in uh, in the great state of uh, what uh, Toronto? No, we, we're in, we're in Texas. Jose Leclerc has been everything from the opener to the closer, and um, they say that he'll return. Leclerc is going to return to the closer's role later this season, as long as he continues to pitch well. But currently, he's uh, the effector. Okay, the effector right now, and. Um, Calhoun has hit safely in all five games since he was recalled from AAA. He's 10 for 21. 10 for 21. And that's Mr. Calhoun. So uh, there you have it. Vlad got called up. How about yeah, Domingo Herman? Remember, Herman, Soratka, uh, all these young guys. Take a look at their innings from last year. Their innings will be carefully checked. They will have starts skipped. They will be monitored. They may be effectors, whatever it is. The DFS hangover show is going to come up at 11. Pitches get glitches with Joel. Drop the mic with Michael Eccleston. Money won twice at 5.30 with Cam. Roto Imbeciles at 7. Andy and that guy at 8. The Sports Buffet with Lou and Ron at 9. And then Dan comes up at 10 o'clock. So we got a big schedule. And once again, a sincere thanks to everybody and all you people on Stitcher, on Switcher, on all, on, on whatever it is. Come to the chat room. We have this podcast every day. It's baseball, and it's all year round. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bada boom. <laughs>